Happy Monday, everybody. Welcome back to my channel. If you haven't subscribed yet, make sure that you subscribe. Um, today is a milestone for the LGBTQ community. It comes on the heels of, you know, uh, last video we talked about um, Donald Trump taking um, rights away from the LGBTQ community um, by making it okay to discriminate um, in the health community and not provide health care for uh, transgender LGBTQ people. And this morning, the Supreme Court granted us a jewel. Um, the Supreme Court ruled that gay and transgender employees are protected by civil rights law, uh, by civil rights laws against employer discrimination. So that basically means that you cannot be fired for being transgender or gay. Um, this is fantastic. Um, we've been fighting for this for quite some time. And it's very interesting that in 2020 that we're actually having to, that th that was not a thing. It makes really no sense. But, um, you know, I just saw a video um, of Donald Trump being asked about it. And he was just like, well, they made the decision. And, you know, that it is what it is. It's a very powerful decision. But, it, you know, we go with whatever they they say really like how could you not I don't understand this like how could you not want everyone to have equal rights why would you want someone to be able to discriminate just based on who you are attracted to who you sleep with which has nothing to do with how you perform your job it just it's really insane to me and um, you know he tried to take some things away from us uh, and as I said before, we're not going to stand for that. It just is not going to happen. Um, but we have this, and I am grateful for this, um, and really happy uh, that this is this is a big this is big for the LGBTQ community. But it's really something that should have already been in place. So I can only be but so grateful for it. I'm grateful for it, but then it's sort of like, really. Um, and uh, in other news, uh, the Hollywood this weekend had a march for transgender, black transgender lives, the all Black Lives Matter march. Um, and it was basically highlighting transgender women of color. Amazing turnout, amazing. They painted it on the streets. It was, I'm gonna tag a video in the description. But what was really disheartening for me was watching Someone sent it to me this morning on The Shade Room. Now, I should know better than to read The Shade Room's comments because when I've been on The Shade Room, I don't read the comments um, because the, the few times that I've been on, simply because, you know, they, everyone can be ruthless and can be horrible. And there was some support. Um, there was quite a bit of support, but for the, ma the majority of the comments were disgusting. I mean, I, I don't understand, you know, how you can be a minority and someone is a minority within your minority and you not want equal rights. So you're fighting for equal rights for everyone because that's what we've been doing. We've been fighting for, 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 for black lives, for them to matter, and that we all have equal rights and we're all treated equally. But... As my friend Hope says, my blackness doesn't matter because my transness is there. And I was f f like, some of the, I had to stop reading because the comments were so freaking disgusting. There were even some like famous rappers in there that were, or I don't know if they're famous or not, but I know they were, they had a blue check and they were rappers um, that um, posted you know, like, oh, I'm not with this. I'm not with, like, it's it just, it, and the amount of things that people said, like, oh, they're, they're always trying to make it about them, or, oh, they're trying to, like, you got mad when we marched for Black Lives Matter. Now, all of a sudden, we have our own shit, and what happens? Now you're mad at us still. Like, what what is it? What is it? Why can't we have equal rights, too? Because we're black also. The first thing you see about us is that we're black first. Then you might notice that we're transgender or maybe you don't notice, whatever. But a cop stops us, that's what they're going to see first. It doesn't make sense to me that you can think that because I am transgender or because I am gay or whatever, that my blackness does not matter when you're fighting for your blackness to matter. Like, 
it, it just doesn't make sense. And I'm like, who is who raised these people? Who was advising these people? And I know I'm going to get some hate down in the, in the comments because I got some hate in the on the last few um, uh, ch videos that I did on my channel about the transgender community mattering. It it is crazy. And the reason that this was so so big is because we march for black lives. I've said this before. We march for black men all the time. Very rarely do cisgender black men march for us, post for us. So if we're marching for you guys, why can't we march for ourselves? Because you're not marching for us. So you just think it's okay that we get killed? You think it's okay that 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 we are 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 killed like dropping like flies. It's absolutely crazy to me. And why would you want to exclude a group of people who are part of the movement? If you're going to say that one black life, life matters, all of the black lives have to matter. So I just don't get it. And it, it, it just, the, the amount of comments just really let me know. It, it confirms for me what I would already knew, which was that for the most part, the black community as in general, and I'm not saying all black people because I know I've got some supporters on here, which we really appreciate it, but black heterosexual people really just don't give a shit about black transgender people. I've known that my whole life and I've known that my whole, you know, since I've been living in my truth, which has been over 15 years, but to really see it written down, to really see it in the comments, it is really scary. Because they really were, were going hard. Like, oh, no, I'm not with this. I'm with all the other Black Lives Matter stuff, but I'm not with this. I'm not with you, you guys. I'm not with you guys having equal rights. We want them, but you can't have them. You need to wait your turn. Or wait to the, that, you know, or, or there were also people that said, I understand, like, this is important too, but w basically wait your turn. Like, why do you have to bring this up all of a sudden with, when we're doing our thing? It all goes together. We're not separate but equal. We're all together in this. But the reality is we are separate. It is insane to me. And there, I really don't have any words for it because it's kind of strange. Like we're so expected to go out in the community and fight with people uh, of other races discriminating against us, but we have to fight in our own community first. And if we don't come together, then what does it look like? Like how can you, how can you expect your life to be valued if you, if, other races, if, how can you expect other races to value your life if they see that you don't value all black lives in your community? It doesn't make any sense. It starts at home. It really makes absolutely no sense. And I, I'm, I'm troubled by those comments. I know people have keyboard courage, but these, this stuff is in people's hearts and people have been saying it for years. And I know that people had problems when we were um, at the Black Lives Matter marches with all Black Lives Matter, basically like Trans Lives Matter. They're like, well, this has nothing to do with you. This has nothing to do with you, Black Trans Lives Matter. This has nothing to do with you. Why? It matters to black women, black men, cisgender. Why can't it matter to trans women and trans men? It makes no sense at all. If you're going to say that you are down with the Black Lives Matter movement and you want equality for black people, you got to want it for everybody else. There's no way in the world that you can be down for that cause. You might think you are, you might say you are, but you're really not. And I hate to have to keep coming on here preaching because I, for the most part, like to have lighthearted, fun conversations and things with you guys. But I, it is my duty to, you know, as someone in the public eye, as someone with a platform, to speak up for this because I am a part of this community. I'm a part of the trans community, but I'm also a part of the black community. And I'm part of the black community first because that's what you see. It is crazy to me. So what's supposed to happen? Because, you know, for the most part, to some people, I am, I mean, I'm not going to say I'm the most passable person in the world, but in general, I'm thought of as a passable person. So here's the thing. If I go out into the world and I am marching and I say black lives matter, you will agree that my black life matters. But when I tell you that I'm transgender or you find out that I'm transgender, does my life no longer matter? I, I just... I don't under like, and if you don't believe what I'm saying to you, you don't understand how in 2020 people can still feel this way. Just go on the post that I have tagged below and read the comments. It is insane. The amount of comments and you guys know how the shade room can be. And I know, yeah, we try not to read the comments, but for me, I mean, I probably would be more inclined not to read it. Had I been, I had been me in the post, 
because in the times that I've been on the shade room, I just, I know there's going to be a lot of love and there's going to be a shit ton of hate. But this to me was important for me to read because I wanted to see, was there support for my brothers and sisters? And there was, for the most part, no. There were a few people that stood up and then in their under their comments, there are people going completely off to them, like bullying them. It just, why would, if you are a part, you would think that people who are of a minority group really have a compassion in their heart for other minority groups. But the thing is, we're not other minority groups. We're part of your community. We're, and, and the crazy thing is, is we're discriminated more because we're a double. I'm a, do I'm a double minority. So why is it that my black life should not matter because I'm transgender or because I'm gay or because I'm bisexual or because I'm a lesbian or because I'm queer? Why? Drop down in the comments and let's have a conversation about this. Please under, please help me understand why people feel this way about us. It's, it's, in, it's insane. I love you guys for watching and um, I'll see you in the next video. Let's just hope that it's a lighthearted one next time because I am getting tired <laughs> this world today.